Welcome to another Marvel Legends Infinite Series review. This time we're looking at the highly anticipated Carnage figure. Now this is my first ever Carnage figure. Uh, this is actually part of, technically called the Spawn as symbiotes, symbiotes, whatever, because it's going to have a variant uh, called Toxin coming out soon. But it's Carnage. Uh, and this is part of the Spider-Man uh, tie-in line for the Amazing Spider-Man 2. And it's super creepy. I love this figure. It's it's a slight remote of the kind of more common, uh, you know, uh, torso that's came with a Black Panther, a Hawkeye, and a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head right now. But it works. It's very cool. Uh, the detailing is very very nice. Let's zoom in on the head here. I can very easily see this figure being repainted as Venom. In fact, I'd really like to see that happen. Because I only have one Venom figure, and it's from uh, the the Spider-Man 3 line. And that Venom is kind of lame. But, uh, so I'd really like this to see this one day repainted as Venom. Because it's just, it just make a perfect, for a perfect Venom. The mouth is super creepy, the eyes are very uh, blank and emotionless. The black paint on the torso looks really good too. The random kind of a symbiote, symbiote, I don't know, I'm not, never sure really how to pronounce that. Um, looks really nice too, although that one kind of looks like a Twizzler. Uh, articulation wise, it's really good too. Uh, has a now kind of common ball jointed with swivel, and but just the way it's shaped, has a nice, nice range of motion. It has a shoulder joint that makes it go in and out. This, I'm not sure if it's supposed to click like that. I guess so. No, I guess something's rubbing right there, which I'm probably going to have to fix. That's kind of worrisome. Uh, bicep swivel, double hinged elbow, a wrist swivel too. His hands are really, really cool too. Uh, he has a mid torso or mid ab crunch, a waist joint, ball jointed hips, a mid thigh cut, and double hinged knees, and a little bit of ankle articulation too. He uh, only has one accessory in it that is the head for the ultimate green goblin. So it's one of the more, uh, I guess every part is integral, but I mean, it's the one that you really look at uh, first. Um, uh, this was a short cased figure, uh, and be, just because of the, you know, very popular nature of Carnage, I can definitely see this one being really hard to find. I know that Wyatt, uh, my co host for Primecast, uh, hasn't. Uh, been, been able to find this as yet of this recording uh, but it is a very very nice looking figure and it's definitely worth a premium price I wouldn't go too much more than the retail cost but if your only way is paying a little bit more online I'll definitely go for it because it is just a, a sweet 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 looking figure uh, until next time thank you for watching